Hey everybody, Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast. Thank you so much for checking out another episode. Today's features uh, returning guest, Joe Robinson, singer-songwriter Damon. Had a lot of fun. They brought along uh, their friend uh, Ness Holiday also joined us and had a lot of fun hanging out with these three talking about uh, what they've been working on. Joe's got some new music of his own and a new studio and Damon's uh, been recording in the studio. So they've been collaborating, creating Damon's brand new EP that is available right now, uh, July 1st uh, on all your streaming platforms. And you can catch him live uh, tonight on July 1st, celebrating the release of this EP at the Painted Sky in St. Charles, Missouri. So come on out and and celebrate with us. Hear all about it on today's episode. I do want to remind you, as always, that Rock Paper Podcast is brought to you by Friendship Brewing Company in Wentzville, Missouri. Serving up all your craft beer needs. Over 25 rotating taps. Uh, all kinds of delicious beverages. And uh, you got your tasty eats out there, burgers and nachos, flatbread pizzas. Uh, check out the Sidewinder fries. All kinds of uh, things out there. And great live music. On Saturday, you can catch uh, Matt Walter's Shed in Winsville. And uh, that'll be 7 to 10 on Saturday, July 1st. Sunday, July 2nd, Josh Littig. And uh, you can find their full food menu, beer menu, and concert calendar at friendshipbrewingcompany.com. You can also follow along with them on Facebook and Instagram for more info. And if you've been following along, uh, I've been talking about it quite a bit, but uh, you got to go out and check out the brand new location uh, for Friendship Brewing Company in Flint Hill, Missouri, just uh, outside of Wentzville. Much uh, larger space, uh, really cool room they got going on out there, and um, I can't wait to see what happens with this space. And uh, you're going to have a big old grand opening party on July 29th. Um, you can come out there on the weekends, though, right now and check it out. And see uh, the Fly High Kitchen. They got a new partnership with uh, some of the uh, folks over at Duke's Barbecue in Wentzville uh, for a new kitchen there with the Fly High Kitchen. So uh, great food, beer, music, everything, all the favorite stuff you love about the Wentzville location of Friendship Brewing, but now in Flint Hill, Missouri. And you can catch uh, the breakdowns there tonight saturday july 1st at uh again at the flint hill location 7 to 10 uh if you need anything from me hit me up on the socials email me at rockpaperpodcast at gmail and uh i would love to hear from you and with that out of the way sit back relax and enjoy a brand new episode with joe robinson and Damon. Um, a podcast is kind of like a... It's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's also like my mom. <laughs> uh, it makes it sound more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like this. Hi, folks. This is Damon, a local singer-songwriter from St. Charles. And we are here with Shane Presley on the Rock Paper Podcast. Rock paper podcast. Scissors beat paper, paper covers rock. Rock beat scissors, Shane covers non stop. Never know what new kind of guests that he's got coming at you. Live and direct on the spot could be rock, folk, country, or hip hop, jazz. All kind of folks that he has could be an artist or a comedian to make you laugh on the rock paper podcast. Double decker fudge round rolling round time. Shane coming at you live and direct from ground zero. He's your hero. He's your bestie. Rock Paper Podcast with Shane Presley. Rock Paper Podcast. Hey, 
everybody. Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast, coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri, hanging out at uh, Robinson Recordings yes, sir. Uh, with Joe Robinson. How you doing? Welcome back to the show, man. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. It's been a couple of years now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, much like that episode when we met, uh, you brought in um, some young, fresh talent. To, oh yeah, and you introduced yeah. me to. Yeah, I forgot about uh, old girl. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I, there was like a trend. We you You're introduced me. In. You introduced me to some more new, more new people. And we yeah, got Carmen. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. Have some, you talked to her? Not yeah. since that day. But, oh man. But me neither. Yeah, but I. Uh, but do you want to introduce me to your uh, yeah. your friends here we got with yeah. us today? Yeah, uh, Damon Beckmeyer. Howdy. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Uh, guitar, singer, songwriter. And then uh, Ness Holiday here. What's um, going on? What's up? Just a all-around badass musician. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been having a lot of fun hanging out here already today. We did some jamming. Mm -hmm. We got... Uh, and just been sitting around talking and getting to know each other. And uh, it's been, uh, this is what I love about I me. Mean, I talk about a lot of, uh, start the show, but it's what I, exactly why I continue to do the show is continuing to meet new people making music in the city. And uh, I don't know, it's just cool that after, you know, even still nine years of doing this, like you're still constantly new people starting up every day. There's always some new story to share, new songs and everything. So, um, so I have a ton of fun doing this and getting to meet people and uh so thank you all for for being here today yeah thanks uh, for having us thank you but thank you man this uh so i guess uh you guys uh let's kind of start at the beginning like uh, how of this relationship you guys uh you guys have known each other for a little while now right you said you met through uh six months yeah so? mm -hmm. what has it been J only that February? long January, yeah. January, it feels February. like forever <laughs> right? ain't been that long <laughs> Right, January, February, right? Yeah, somewhere around there. yeah no, mm -hmm. exactly. So uh, yeah. I, I had a landscaping job uh, with Kirkwood Home and Landscape. Shout out! Shout yeah. out! <laughs> Shout out! That bitch. Shout out! Yeah, <laughs> they're awesome. Uh, they they work with Julie's Gardens. They've been featured in botanical gardens and stuff, and like yeah whatever Man, real shout they're, out. they're good good solid crew out here and my my dude Zach um, Mr. Eagle yeah dude he uh he told me that his friend joe had a recording studio and i'd, I'd been camping with zach and he, he was a chill guy we we went out to tom sock and like just <laughs> kicked it. it it was a great time and uh he ended up just reminding me over and over and over again hey my buddy joe has this studio he's got this studio yeah. and then i was at zach's house and you called him i think you were on the phone. <laughs> zach called me oh, yeah, something I, think, I think he was a couple deep and he's like hey guys <laughs> right here bro he's like hey i got joe here on the phone man and we we started talking and we set up a time to come in and meet and uh ness and i have already been writing at the time and i was like ness you got to come down here and meet this guy and uh things lined up i was able to record with joe and we yeah. we've done all kinds of stuff man yeah when they came to me they were a three piece so they lost the guy uh oh yeah true and so that's how like they had a drummer who did violin as well yeah and he ended up mm -hmm. you know going about doing other stuff so then the two of them and the two, Chris Bennett and I, were playing. So it kind of just made sense to right. mash up and mm -hmm. try to make more music. There you go. You know? Yeah, man. Definitely. What it's, about what about uh, Damon and Ness? How you guys go way back? or? Yeah, so uh, we were introduced through a mutual friend. Uh, and it was just another one of those perfect situations where... You know, hey, I have a friend that has a guitar, and I know you have a guitar. Why don't we all meet? Sure. And uh, actually, the first thing we jammed was our first song, uh, Digital Organic. And that sort of is the cornerstone of how we jam together. It's a lot of fun, a lot of changes. And I think that proved to me that, hey, you know, we could actually turn this into something. You know, we could play together for a little bit. This works. Yeah. Nice. And what was that like? Was that... How long ago was that? Uh, ah, ooh. 
What? Uh, no more than a year and some change. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in there. R- right so, around there. So yeah. all this is very it's new. Still, still very new, yeah. very fresh. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. also really promising. Like this, this things just like happened fast. We were able to come in and record fast. Mm-hmm. And right. Work together and all gel well. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm just grateful for the circumstances, man. Mm-hmm. You, you guys make a, a good band. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so let, you. well, let's talk about uh, Joe here with Joe uh, Robinson Recordings. We're here, at, uh, like I said, this is uh, like I saying, you guys recorded your uh, what we'll be we'll be talking about here in a minute with the new EP. It was over recorded here, and uh, I, this is all new since we last spoke. So let's. Uh, mm-hmm. um, I know you you guys were doing uh, some recordings and right. some video Out of my basement, right? Yeah. So um, what? Uh, take me through some of that. Uh, movement over the last couple of years and moving into an actual studio space and uh it's taken a while to get the studio up and running so like probably about uh, probably about two years and really in the last six months is when it's gotten up and going right you know i mean it's just a long drug out process sure but worked out you know it's cool a little little production studio get some guys in here you know to help out local bands you know can't come up with you know a high dollar sure budget i get that man you know what i mean well you uh was this like uh always a, a goal i mean a dream kind of thing or is it kind yeah. of you fell into it since uh you know since i uh started recording i recorded a long time ago on like a four track tape recorder right and that was always cool and fun but uh, I guess the last a couple of years before we did our first podcast it was when I started getting in, into the, this side of stuff, and yeah, it's addicting. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever did you go to school? I forget. I don't know if you just mentioned it before. For this, no. Uh, it was just a hobby and turn into. Yeah. A, uh, I mean, that's like really like. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I do some electrical work for yeah. a trade, so I mean, you know, I don't know if that. I can build this stuff. I built that microphone. Sure. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. She's pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. <laughs> you can't see it, but it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Show it to the microphone here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We, uh, I mean, I, I, that's a lot of this is, uh, you know, like I said, it's inspiring for me because like, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, um, you know, I never went to school for any of this recording stuff. It was just, right. I wanted to help. Uh, and I, f- the podcast kind of developed out of, Talk, wanted to talk about music and then like but through doing this i've had i found that i've like have a real um passion for wanting to record more you know live music i love recording yeah. you know been, i don't really have the know-how or the equipment to really do a lot uh but i love record documenting like these live acoustic uh performances because that's about all i know i can make sound pretty good yeah uh but i would love to like continue to expand that and grow into maybe someday having my own recording studio sure. and stuff like that. So yeah. it's just, I kind of wish I, this would have like caught me, you know, 20 years ago. Right. Uh, when I could have gone to school, you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, not that it's too yeah. late, but just like, I kind of wish I would have like f- knew that this was going to, you know, be more of a thing, right. uh, for, you know, chasing it as a career well, option. Man, so. at, at Webster university, man, they got a hell of a audio. Right. They got everything on there. Well, yeah. Carl Napa is running that. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah doing, shout out to him too. Yeah. What up, Carl? He's the, he's so um, you know, yeah. Carl's the producer of the song that I'm gonna release. Yeah. So you, uh, along with uh, doing your own recordings, uh, helping some some uh, locals uh, around here, but trying to create uh, their own art. You, uh, yeah, and I you, do a lot of uh, uh, you know, full bands. You know, squeeze them in this room and right. make a lot of noise and you know but you play um your own you know your singer songwriter of course like we've talked about uh some of your music and you uh recently sat down with carl napa and his studio and working mm-hmm. on some new stuff oh yeah so let's uh how do you uh how'd you come about wanting to work with carl how'd that all come about uh i uh through a mutual friend john ragliano another engineer uh guy and uh the song you know carl's really really great producer you know engineer 
It's got a lot of nice stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the song, the song that I was working on was an important one, so I wanted to give her everything I could. And I've, Carl's done a lot of stuff for me all, with my audio as a mix mix engineer. A lot of times I try to record stuff here, but this time, you know, like step by step with him in his studio. Uh, and so, yeah, I, just the right guy. You yeah. Know? Yeah. He. Uh. We've we've kind of become friendly over the last. Uh, you know, a little while now, yeah. and uh, he's. Uh, I got he invited me over to his space for a uh, like a little recording or a like a album listening party kind of thing, and uh, and that was a real treat, man. Like I got to yeah. got to see this space, and it was just like. Uh, yeah, I do a CD and cooling too. So yeah, so, <laughs> nice. So I, so I, I yeah. kind of weaseled my way in there. What I was, I felt like super cool to be in that room. You know, just like that I was even thought of to be a part of that. And like, it right. was, I felt, felt good that, uh, like Carl Napa and even knew who I was kind of thing. So, <laughs> right, uh, right. Right. So like Google that guy. Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, you, uh, so the song that you said, uh, needed the proper attention. This is a new one. Uh, we don't have any kind of, uh, release date quite yet, but this is a song called mom currently it's uh, is that the working title or is that what we're the just, working title yeah. yeah it might change but we did do a live so far acu- though, acoustic that's take on what it. i'm stuck on so yeah so. well tell me uh tell oh, me about man. mom what's uh uh so my mom uh bat- battled cancer cancer breast cancer for five six years passed away last february and uh yeah it was just something i was working on didn't get to finish it until after she passed. So that was a bummer. Mm-hmm. And then shortly after she passed, I went into the studio. Mm, yeah. So to get it done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I uh, I don't know how much you know my story, but I, I lost my mother to uh, brain cancer in 2019. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so, I mean, definitely the story hits home and it's something I wish, uh, I, I think about a lot. Like I wish, uh, I don't know exactly how, I, but songwriting's always been something I'm very passionate right. about. And I wish I could kind of channel it into that, that kind of medium, yeah. you know, fine. It's still even rough. It's even like playing this right now. Yeah. It was rough. You know what I mean? Sure. Oh yeah. I'm trying to, I don't know. But I mean, that's when you know you, it's real, you know, it's like, yeah. And make people feel that so i hope uh, so but sounded great in the room here today man this is uh so this is a live acoustic take that we did um here at uh, joe's studio and uh we had uh, a little accompaniment yeah uh, from the guys here uh, damon and us from so the fellas yeah yes, so sir. hope you enjoy this one If you fall when you try And as life goes It gets better with time Don't give up hope Just swallow your pride in you You made me strong and I, I see But 
Again, uh, you can find uh, what J- follow along on Facebook and stuff. Probably the easiest way to find out when this is going to be released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook would probably be the best one. Instagram, JJR Band. Uh, you know, and if you're in the mood, just, just check it out on Spotify. Yeah, you know, there's other stuff up there. Sure, yeah, man. You got some, yeah, definitely a bunch of uh, back catalog to follow along and add yeah. to your favorite playlist up on Spotify and stuff. Yeah, I think I've released one or two singles and an ep since we've lost yeah yeah, <laughs> t- t- yeah man yeah like i said been uh, i think it was like may 2020 or something yeah. around there or, or maybe june was it or something during, like right after covid hit i think that? so was yeah it? something around there uh but uh but yeah man we uh so you got a bunch of tunes out there now and uh hopefully we'll get this one out very soon and yeah uh, so keep an eye out i mean if i was gonna guess i'd say probably sometime in like august late august mm-hmm. early september yeah but I, I i you know i gotta have the, the physical audio before i can like start the process yeah. which it is over this thursday so. yeah all right <laughs> uh well let's uh Let's talk about uh, what you all three have been working on. And this is, uh, would yeah. be Damon's EP. Self titled EP. Yeah. Damon yeah. Beckman. Yeah. Yeah. So July da- 1st. July 1st. That yeah. Drops. So, Damon, tell me, I mean, this is our first time meeting. We just a couple of minutes ago, uh, you were telling me a little bit uh, of the story, but uh, you uh, grew up in the St. Charles area, somewhere in there, or Warrington. Kind of, kind of uh, around. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, I actually, I went to kindergarten in St. Charles at, okay. when Lincoln Elementary was a thing. And now my brothers go to Coverdale and I live on 2nd Street. But uh, since I, I lived in Warrington for several years, Lake St. Louis, been to a few schools and stuff. Right. And so uh, I got gotten to see quite a, quite a few places. I, I personally just like St. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> I like the river. I get to walk everywhere. It's really nice. And what... Uh 
when when did music find you? What was it? Was were you pretty young uh, picking up the guitar? Or uh, yeah, so I started playing guitar because of my granddad. Actually, <laughs> my granddad uh, Thomas Beckemeyer. He was a uh, just a cool kind of a, a preacher actually, uh, and he had a a lot of land. He had six acres, a garden. And he played guitar and harmonica and anything else you put in front of him. And I remember as a kid, like, that was just the coolest thing. Like, to this day, harmonica just, like, takes me back because of that. It's a really awesome instrument for me. But um, outside of that, my other granddad on my mom's side played guitar. And my mom's, uh, my mom's grandma was a singer in Powell Symphony. And they just so the genes are just there you know yeah very musical family sounds like yeah you guys do any like uh was there kind of jamming around the house like that or was it more like everybody kind of did their individually well uh i i guess i i took up guitar when i was like 15 because i've always wanted to do it i i had a guitar from the time i was really young like nine i just never had anybody to learn or teach me so right around like 13 when i had a cell phone youtube and so i was just teaching myself anything that i could and uh i like i was a choir kid growing up i was in musicals and (laughs) like uh singing and stuff and so that that and then you know church growing up i i sang and i was in the worship band and stuff and uh so it it was always it was always around but family wasn't as much of a part of it as uh i i would have liked growing up you know and so uh, now it's it's how I like find my friends and I I write songs about my family and stuff like that. And so it's a uh, for me it's something that was very personal and I always had around and I just kind of kept to myself and uh, eventually it just kind of branched out because I'm wild and crazy like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, what was like um, gearing up for this EP and stuff like. I'm guessing you had a, a batch of songs that you you felt were uh, ready to be recorded and definitely um, with Ness and I uh, we we definitely we we had cooked some stuff up I had done some solo stuff I've I've always been interested in the recording side of things and so like trying weird techniques working in different studios and just kind of playing around and doing all the things that you're not supposed to do. And, uh, I guess, um, it didn't sound good (laughs) as, as good as I would have liked, you know? And so to, uh, have one Ness holding it down with literally any instrument I could throw at him and these songs that I've had for years, being a solo acoustic guy and playing little gigs here and there. And then Joe just really generously, generously, uh, providing a, space for us and like a a really great deal on recording (laughs) and um i mean he held it down (laughs) he 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 let us come in here he let me boss him around ness let me boss him around and uh we we all kind of contributed into building out these songs that i've had forever and making them sound like they're with a full band and like really progressing me from the solo artist into the that's the main thing about owning a studio is letting him do his thing yeah like i'm not a producer i'm not producer. if you want me to i can but you know what i mean he's it's his dream and you know i'll throw my opinions in every once in a while so much valued opinions (laughs) (laughs) you know when it comes down to the bread and butter yeah so this uh this is the debut uh i have some other stuff on spotify yeah uh actually um a friend and I, uh, Jared, we uh, we recorded a song years ago in 2019 called Alice and Dorothy. You can find that on Spotify. And uh, actually, 89 won the wood, put it in rotation. So that was kind of cool. Nice. That's a little little dream for us is like a- indie guys recording and <laughs> like putting amps in closets and hanging mics from like vacuum cleaners and stuff. <laughs> it yeah. was just whatever we we could do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's give them a little, uh, listen to what some of the sounds that you might hear. We are gearing up for release on 
July 1st. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. And that'll be on all your streaming platforms, right? Yeah, all the, all the major ones yeah. for sure. Definitely. Um, and this, uh, we're going to, we're going to give them a little listen to one man. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, this, this is one man by Damon. What do you want to tell us about uh, one man? What anything come to mind with this particular one? Um, this, this is a song kind of about like my own uh, opinions spiritually, I, I guess, and uh, kind of just at the end of the day realizing that you're you're just a, a guy, you know, you're just one man out here uh, trying to do your thing and um. It's uh for me it's just a song about get getting down to the the basics, you mm -hmm. know. And this uh features Ness on what do you got? You said uh bass, bass? drums, yes, moral support. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> uh Ness Ness actually plays keys on another song in the record. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. You might actually also play keys Maybe. on one man. We have we have him on snaps for sure, definitely. Snaps. <laughs> I right. think uh Joe might have might did we some were, stuff yeah, on we the were shaker. All <laughs> <around>. Yeah, <laughs> snaps. Yeah, yeah dude. 
Well, and I the, got the snaps was pretty fun. good at the shaker. <laughs> and I think, well, we don't know if we mentioned, but uh, N- uh, Ness was on the piano for the for Mother, right? That's so right, we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for Ma, uh, so yeah, keys on that one too. Uh, yeah, for the uh, for the live version here, we got to yeah, do, the so. live version. Oh, yeah. There's Ryan Marquez on the studio version. Oh, very, very cool. Conscious Keys. Yeah, boy, he's fucking hey, something. Very too, talented man. guy. Yeah. All, uh, these talent, all these talented people in St. Louis. Dude, something in the water around here. <laughs> something, something, <laughs> something going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to keep up, man. I'm just, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to document as much as I can. I hope someday, oh, you man, know, whenever just I'm. The, just the uh, the announcements of live when you look at your oh, Saturday night, yeah. Friday night. Yeah. Like how much, how many people are you? Mm. That's a long list, man. That's you, awesome. Yeah. People saying nothing to do. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, but, that's why I started it, man. I, everybody, I got sick of you. people saying that. <laughs> There's tons of, I'm tons like, of I'll show do. you. So I, I started putting together a list of uh, f- started like mainly Friday, Saturday. Yeah, I see it, dude. And, I, I look at yeah, it for sure. And then I, now it's up to like 60, 70 shows on a. Oh, right. And it's, it's crazy for me to like look back at it too. Like I'm like, you know, one, uh, just my, my own personal um networking you know not not that i know all these bands right. uh personally but just the like being a, aware of how much is actually happening in in our city because like when i first started that's what it was it was like only knew about a couple of things and like and for like you know so it's not like these weren't this wasn't happening then it's just now that i know a lot about a lot right. more than so it's for me it's there's it's a lot cool. of people that know about you too so well like, yeah you know, i mean i don't know i'm just uh Keep putting all the good info out there, man. Like I'm just trying to be that hub. You know, people. I'm glad people dig it. What uh, you know, that I do that, and I, I, I probably receive more comments about that than anything I do. So it's uh, I'm That's glad awesome. people. I'm glad people dig it. Well, but yeah, it's uh, gonna take a little time. Yeah, uh, dude. As a hippie, so. I'm all about local support. Uh, sure. Local. So yeah. I'm I'm down with that. <laughs> but that's like my big thing. Like with this show, I want to treat it like a time capsule sort of thing. Like whenever I'm done, like that we can just like look back at like you know this collection of st louis music at this time period yeah. and like because i mean there is like so much good stuff happening now and i don't know that you know i know i feel like sometimes when you're in it you don't always fully understand and appreciate it you know i think sometimes it takes a moment to step back and realize like oh right here this is like there was something really magical in that you know years or whatever i mean like you know i think everybody i think people are aware there's something really cool but i think you know just like we look at some of the greats before us, you know, we, we paid tribute and honored these, uh, men and women that have come and gone, you know, that laid the roots of, uh, what is St. Louis music. And yeah. like, you know, we appreciate them now. I think someday, you know, the next generation is going to look back at what was happening right here, you know, in St. Louis right now. So it's like, it's that kind of thing too, I think. Uh, so it just makes me excited. You know, I just, I'm glad people are, celebrating St. Louis music in a big way. I mean, we got a lot of really cool things happening with like uh, music at the intersection and evolution fest and like some, you know, more larger scale um, mainstream music, but also highlighting a lot of great locals uh, on that show too. So it's like, it's, it's, it's fun when you're putting (coughs) all my friends on the same poster as some of my favorites, you know, it's like open highway music festivals this weekend too. another great example, like seeing my friends names right next to Jason Isbell and Blackberry smoke and stuff, you know, and it's yeah. like, it's just like, that's the way it should be. We should mix these just because you're a St. Louis artist doesn't make you any less or you belong on the same scale as to a lot of these greats. I mean, you know, I feel like that's a good way to do it, man. Put them up there where people can see them and, and share share what we have going on here so um but yeah man there's a lot of cool stuff happening in st louis music if you don't know if you're listening now yeah get, get involved come out to a show yeah, there's a lot going on yeah uh we got uh joe's got some dates on the calendar along with uh uh the some new music and uh you can catch uh joe playing live at uh june 24th at ferguson brewing and uh, one of your uh, favorite stops uh, along the way, July 8th uh, at Tam Avenue. Uh, you, you seem to play there pretty frequently, so, right? Yes. They've yeah. been good to you. And- I, yeah, I, they're all, like, you know, yeah. I, Ferguson's already had a, more an established sure. music list already, so I kind of, yeah. you know, got to the party late. But, and yeah, then, uh, Tam is great. Yeah, man. 
just that street alone man yeah it was great and then uh july 15th at attic music bar yeah and then uh july 16th back over tam avenue yeah and at the attic i'll be outside on the back patio it's the first time so yeah very cool well you can find again all those on uh your get involved on uh facebook uh, yeah. you're pretty good create an event sure i haven't quite figured out anything other than that yeah uh as far as uh for damon and ness i mean like i said we got the ep on the due out on uh july 1st and uh you um you guys you said we were, were in talks uh trying to book something to celebrate this right i mean we want to do something uh a nice event uh to someday soon and mm-hmm. celebrate this uh recordings and everything and share them with everyone Definitely. so that's something we're in the in in the works right now right. right yes we uh we're we're looking around town yeah um I, i'm excited just for people to see us uh I, normally we're down at like uh like root bound on main um uh main street st charles and uh like we we we're, we're looking to find some some big places you know that uh we can really uh take all of our our homegrown crowd and like really give them a, right. a spot to party and bring some of our our peeps in mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm man. I, I'm just excited for everybody to see how many instruments Ness can play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, oh man, there's another one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, let's talk about. Uh, we did do another uh, live acoustic take here, uh, and this was uh, a brand new one, right? This is unreleased. Uh, not, we don't e- won't even be on the uh, EP. Mm-hmm. It will not be on the uh, EP. It is a right now. It is a rock paper podcast exclusive. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, man. I like the sounds of that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, what? Uh, sorry. Uh, so it seems is the title of this one. Yes. And um, this was man. I really, I really liked it a lot. I liked, uh, you know, like hearing more of a stripped down sound. I mean, I'm, I, I love this acoustic singer songwriter storytelling type of stuff. I did a, a showcase for like three years uh was doing exactly that a monthly showcase uh three different artists sitting on stools you know i'm playing their hearts out telling their stories and um so like this is right up my alley like just you guys and acoustic guitars and uh and some uh and some funky bass on there too so yeah yeah. (laughs) uh but uh but yeah tell me about uh so it seems man what where where did this song come from so it seems man uh oh goodness um i i guess i wrote this in in light of some uh some recent stuff uh that i've seen just like socially politically you know it's uh it's kind of crazy a little bit when you know there there's like a declared state of emergency against a whole group of people in the u.s man this is this is the land of the 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 free you know and that's the that's the song is uh we we have a right to uh choose our 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 lives our livelihoods what we believe and uh we're able to freely do that and act freely and i just don't understand why people don't freely just want to get along and play music and just be just be here uh, yeah all all of those peace love and cliche <laughs> thoughts but it's it's a serious thing man we need we need to be allowed to feel how we want to feel and act as we want to act. You know, as as long as you're you're just not an asshole. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Or just 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 be or if like, you're an asshole, just keep yeah. to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're you're free yeah. to leave me alone, man. Yeah, Welcome to America. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I can I can get behind that for sure, man. That's a It's like hating the sun 
Picking on the rain, it's not like it bothers you anyway Inside with your cool air every day So why would you legislate me when I'll say what I want I do what I feel, it's my God-given right to see Anyway, I damn well please So it seems That the world is upside down In the land of the free Why is it any of your business how I spend my time? As long as you get on to your way and I get on to mine. But you ask why I'm so defensive after all this time when they were locking folks up and now you're shaking hands with the ones. The cry, so it seems that the world is upside down Is this a land of the free? Or do I need to get a home? Why would you up and hate me? It's like hating the sun Picking on the rain It's not like it bothers you anyway Inside with your cool hair every day Are you good at, uh, like, when you're writing, like, do you, like, do you channel other people's stories? Like, or is that how you like to write? Or is it more, like, do you write from a more of a your own story like it, it's so. close it's close to home i actually uh i have a cousin named lilo uh they're non-binary and you know our our family we are we're not um too much concerned about what each other believe we're concerned about how we treat each other and how how we love and how we actually act mm -hmm. towards each other you know and uh, I saw it in my own family and to see it publicly and to be actually concerned, like my, my cousin lives in Florida. Like that is not a great environment to be in if you're in a progressive lifestyle, really. It's, um, it's unfortunate, man. That's, mm -hmm. that's scary stuff, dude, to actually have laws made against you, uh, to have freedoms taken away from you just because you're living your life like th these things don't affect people right. the, they and that's why it's like you're inside like this is it's not like it bothers you anyway inside with your cold air every day like that is what that is about you know it's people out people are out here struggling because you have an opinion about what they they might do in in closed doors mm -hmm. you know it's it's wild to me and it hurts a little bit to see people that i love and care about go through that yeah 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 man i uh i get like you know like you're saying don't be an asshole like as long as you're not hurting anybody what's right. the matter and like oh, yeah you know so um but yeah I don't, it's uh it's, you know heavy stuff man it's like just think about like i said and especially right now from uh you know a f 
having your own having your own connections to these uh, lyrics and um, but I think it's very relevant. It's all I mean it's something obviously you know it's still this is some very happening right now today. This is uh, you know and even as we're recording this in, in the middle of June or Pride Month and stuff, I think it's uh, maybe it's very timely and appropriate to uh, be sharing a lot of this conversation and these thoughts and stuff. Like this is what uh, we're you know, people are trying to do: raise awareness uh, for their own you know lifestyles and beliefs and right on um, right on you know so um but yeah man uh well ness uh tell me a little bit more of your story i you uh we've been a little quiet over there but yeah uh, i mean i've had a string instrument in my hand since i was young i'm pretty sure like everybody else um i was classically trained and i did violin like everybody else did in the what third and fourth grade i picked up cello in middle school well, and wait, wait a second not that not everybody i don't think of, oh well in the, in the, <laughs> in the, in the school district as the program goes i was having a hard time with hot cross buns so i mean like oh, that's know, a classic though. with my with my recorder that was where i was <laughs> recording at. yeah so uh you know uh but uh i do uh, i mean I, it's cool that it's that you've found this yeah such a young age i feel very fortunate and i'm also fortunate enough to have played through college and studied with some of the best string teachers in st louis you know um and as of now i'm sort of a guitar convert and i'm trying to connect the dots between the cello and the fretboard so um i'm really willing to play anything you know i think there's no limits to what you know if i'm gonna take some time and i honestly want to do it i could figure it out eventually you know yeah is this uh uh so what drum you said like about every literally uh, yeah i mean i i could list it out but yeah. i i, I it, what, what is needed sure is what i'll play yeah you know oh, yeah what is really neat what's needed in the moment i'll, I'll pick it so up alive yeah. but not that good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> right so what what uh <laughs> say, man. now do you have I mean, like uh do the same thing too but it's just not the same <laughs> Do you have like a dream instrument? Like, is there a certain one that uh, you uh, always wish you could play, or oh, if you had an eye oh, on? Shit. Like, that's uh, a good question because now you're asking me what haven't I tried to play? Yeah, yeah. Um, or even like a name? Like, is there a certain one that like, man, I wish I could have? You know, whatever. Uh, could, I mean, like whatever guitar it yeah, is. Oh, I'm, I mean, I love that Gibson SG. My favorite guitar player, John Dwyer smashes those things to bits and i've i've idolized those things ever since and I, i'm a pretty thrashy guitar player yeah. too if i gets down to it so i'd love to pick up one of those things yeah i uh um <coughs> kiss is coming to town here oh, yeah. uh in the end of october for their farewell show and i uh they're you know uh i went to see those guys uh several years back and that was like one of them. I mean, I, I hate that they do it, like just because like it breaks my heart seeing guitars broken. But you know, but they when they like that was one of the most rock and roll things. Like just watching those guys like <laughs> shatter guitars on the stage. You know, it's <laughs> like you know. But uh, so it's uh, it's all part of the show. You know, yeah. it's like. Uh, but uh, it was a uh, it was a fun night, man, for sure. But that's so. I, I, it's like I don't know. I me, I'm just like I just want. I'm, I admire them. I'm there. It's art. It's art to me. You know, it's like these, all these guitars and seeing these, especially like, uh, we've got some really cool shops, like killer vintage and stuff like where I just like, I don't know anything about guitars, but like, I just like nerd out in there. I'm like, man, these things are just beautiful, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some nice ones. I can't imagine somebody wanting to slam it on the stage. No, and, no. You know, so. Hopefully they're not right. that nice. Of guitars. Yeah. Right. Hopefully there's something yeah, wrong. Burn, yeah. Throw away guitars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Um, what uh now you are uh, you're you're playing here on Damon's uh recordings mm-hmm. and stuff um is that uh what do you do you uh like being a member of the band or do you write songs too or uh I, or what yeah i mean i i enjoy being a member of the band especially when there's a space to fill mm-hmm. you know whatever gets that song finished you know and i it, it's uh a challenge to do it musically at the same time especially playing bass um you can kind of get into the mindset that you're playing root notes but you can make that musical um and i do write my own music um nothing that is released yet i still got to get my ducks in a row sure. and uh, joe's gonna help me get something out here hopefully soon and um all of my stuff is gonna be on my instagram ness holiday on instagram i'll always 
let people know what's going on there yeah. but hopefully soon I'll, I'll get a little ep damon's i'm kind of modeling after him as well he's done it he does it i'm trying to figure out what in the world he's doing to get that, it done watch and yeah. Learn, yeah. yeah yeah watch and learn I, I try, man I, i'm still learning there's so much uh wisdom out there you know mm. and it's just really nice to find people who have it sometimes mm. or, yeah. s- but currently little, i little bits of knowledge yes we need some uh-huh. <laughs> we yeah. need everything we can get man because we, we we really are i think at least like uh where we are in life i think we're trying to make the push you know to do the thing and mm-hmm. see how much of a career can we make music in in our our you know our hometown outside like let, put us on a bus bro oh, yeah. <laughs> i'm <Ship> ready <laughs> yeah, let's man. go we uh we love music, you yeah. know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's about just making that something else that, uh, people can share. Like, it, it's awesome to see families dancing oh, yeah. at, at our shows, man. Like to see even, even somebody who's just like having a moment with the song and they're looking at you and you can just tell that they haven't heard it in a while. And they're like, wow, like like keep that music alive yeah. we've had people tell that to us and like we uh that's what it's about you know it's the just the the life that music gives people you know it it, it definitely keeps me alive every mm-hmm. day dude yeah. every day well this and, uh you yeah, know keeping it you know alive like i feel like um listening you know you guys gave me a little uh sneak peek of some mm-hmm. what, some of the other sounds yeah. from the cp and it seems like a pretty eclectic blend of a lot of like you got some some uh kind of you can tell there's rock influences in there some some more uh kind of i don't know even maybe jazzier kind of things and, and stuff but a lot of different stuff happening you know even vocally and instrumentally that you guys are doing um so i'm guessing between the two of you, you guys are probably all, a little bit all over the place with your yeah, your, your music, right? right? Yeah. You know, so we, we have a band called Two or More. Yeah. And uh, we actually like we. I, I just like that we can go anywhere when we when we play gigs. It, under that, like anything could happen. We could improv. Sure. Somebody might show up with a violin. That's oh, yeah. happened the last like two or three yeah, times we has. played a Violin gig. players love our yeah. band. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's just music maybe i'll sing maybe if we're out playing mm-hmm. you know but that's just because we we let it be whatever it wants to be you know mm-hmm. yeah i didn't mean, that's like you know we, as we kind of talked about playing these songs live and stuff i mean i feel like that's kind of the the beauty of live music is there are no rules you know we can do uh obviously to some extent, you want it to sound reminiscent or or similar to a live record or the album recording, mm-hmm. if that's what uh, you're going for. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, like I love when bands just take it to another extreme. You know, it's like where it's like this is you're getting uh, one one take. This is like what it's going to be yeah. for this night. You know, yeah. it's like it's it might sound completely different the next night. I think you know, I think you guys. Somebody mentioned maybe uh, a Grateful Dead uh earlier and I, I think or like a even a more modern uh, like a dave matthews or somebody mm-hmm. like there's a lot of this like people kind say of, we're a lot like that yeah, yeah there's a lot but that's what's kind of the spirit of those guys is like you got to go to the live show and see it because yeah it's not like anything like that there's a certain magic that's created in that room that night yeah you know when they're playing it live compared to what is on the recordings and stuff and i think there's a lot of fun in that too, man. Just the, the beauty of live music. You just never know what's going to happen when those guys get to start jamming together and stuff. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Like these, and we we switch it up. Like sometimes Ness will show up with a keyboard to the gig. Sometimes I'll I'll bring an acoustic, and so we we definitely uh, we we kind of challenge each other. Being such a flexible like ensemble, we mm-hmm. really want to fit the space and do that thing. You know where it is that. Like we're here for the people in the room, you know, mm-hmm. to hear and like have a moment with, you know, and that, that's that's been really cool. And I think we we've definitely made made some good ones. <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, you guys doing like a mix of covers and originals at these gigs uh, when you get a chance? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe has uh, definitely 
pulled some some tricky ones. I'm a, I'm an oldies yeah. guy. I'm a <laughs> 60s and 70s guy by heart. That's that comes from my granddad. Uh, but like we um we we'll throw in some covers. We got some of the band, some CSN, CSNY. Uh, we got some Jim Croce. Um, art, yeah, the one we oh, yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. I thought you guys were talking about when you guys do your two or more. Oh, yeah. sometimes we'll do covers too. Yeah, yeah, we're we're there for uh, you know, I I like to keep a set mostly original to keep right. it fresh, and it gives me I know where all the changes are. I can make it for just that space and. I can I can send a signal and everybody knows, you know, whereas like sometimes we'll like sit in for like open mics and fill out bands for people. And um, it, it's a different role mm -hmm. every time, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys. Uh, so we've got two or more. And then we got Damon. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and then we got uh, JJR band. But and you guys are all three collaborating is that is that go under jjr band or is that a different name or what's uh if you see us live we're jjr band but yeah. we're not the people on those recordings <laughs> right. yet right. Yeah. yet <laughs> yeah that the next recordings yeah uh yeah yeah it's under it'll the, the find us playing live yeah right and, you know if we get like these guys more established as a band and all that stuff and start doing just all you know originals and then like maybe i cover you know what i mean yeah. it, it means we'll start promoting it that way nice. you know because I mean? they're totally different than than my you know my deal sure you know, so but i think yeah. that's what i mean again going back to you know just it's fun to start collaborating with new people right and just see where it goes you know maybe yeah i'm not some... saying i won't be there i'm just saying you right know what i mean it just depends it just depends you know i don't i don't, I don't like we're not we're like so when we play with under under me you're gonna see probably more you know more covers and then we throw in our originals because the venues you know what i mean they're m like more targeted towards people coming not just for the band necessarily you know what yeah. i mean so yeah uh, yeah man well i'm uh i'm excited to hear some more tunes from you guys and uh and uh, get the uh, copy of this ep uh here in a little bit and every um but uh i got a couple of questions uh, i've been having fun uh asking and uh get your guys take on some of these awesome. uh and uh let's uh let's start with um like a, a dream duet or collaboration i mean uh i know you got we kind of talked about some uh you know uh influences and things but like is there a certain uh somebody that you guys would dream about working with uh whether it's uh you know either recording or being a musician or songwriting co-writing songs living with? living or dead sure it's a dream okay, I'll okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um well I, mine I, I love ska music I love dancing to ska. I just can't play it. That's probably the one genre that I, I have such a hard time producing. But when it comes to playing or singing, I love that. I would love to play with the Mighty Mighty Boston's. Uh -huh. They are killer and they'll get you hype. Yeah. And I, I can sit in on any, I'll sing. I won't play anything, but I know all their lyrics. So I could, I could scream for them. Right. <laughs> I just. I always loved uh, that they had that guy just like dancing the whole time. Oh yeah, there. I could do it. Yeah, just like I was like, I need, why, we need we need more bands that have that like more of the hype guy just like, like sitting there dancing. Or like uh, Nirvana, <laughs> they have the like the go-go dancers on the side of the stage, right? That they just dance. Yeah, yeah that's kind of a lost uh, lost thing. There's not mm -hmm. uh, too many uh, bands that travel with their own dance, right? You know. So. Yeah, the dancing is important, man. Yeah. Some, I, it's amazing to me that people will stand at a show and not dance. Yeah, it's like, man, I'm, the music is so loud. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I might tap my foot, but I'm not much of a dancer. I, uh, I, I, I let I let it move me in other ways, but I uh, I've just never been uh, much for, much. Uh, I don't you know. I don't want to bust out too many moves, you know. So, <laughs> oh yeah, no, you you got you got to. <laughs> Keep it low key. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Joe? You got uh, even got an answer? 
Uh, Somebody you would love to work with? Yeah, I mean, man, I would love to fucking uh, sit down and play guitar with Eric Clapton. That'd be badass. Yeah. Uh, If not, uh, the Zach Brown band. Yeah. Those boys. Yeah. They like to jam. Sure. Yeah, man. I, uh, like, I know he's like, you know, like stuff like chicken fried and all that. Like, those are the big, but like, man, like, but like the other, like the ones when he like really, like the heart felt like, uh, man, he uh, he just did that album. I guess it's been a few years now, man. I can't remember Jacqueline Hyde or whatever it was, man. And there's like, every song's a different genre. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, It's pretty dope. But like Highway 20 Ride and Free and like those songs like really like hit me, man. I'm like, you know, these like, really like heartfelt right. lyrics and stuff and uh really make i mean i i feel like that's when he shines like i mean i know pe- yeah. people love to sing along with the the chicken fried and all that stuff like right. that but you know it's just like those are we seen him live and he did it they did aerosmith acoustic oh yeah i got in a little circle at riverport the amphitheater yeah it was fucking i was like man that's pretty cool man. yeah yeah there go. bass player kind of a little acoustic bass i'm like i don't know why you do that but okay I've seen those. They're nice, yeah. man. Yeah, plugged in. <laughs> like, nice. I mean, it's not, obviously, not it's not acoustic, so I don't yeah. know why you used it, but that's fine. It was cool. Yeah. As a as a split custody kid, Highway Twenty ride. My mom would play that song, and like we listen to it in the car sometimes. You know, it's it's just a yeah yeah. It's a really good song. Yeah, man. All right, Damon. What's uh? What's your dream? Mm. All right. I have to say Jack White. Yeah? Mm. Jack White, yeah. it's a good one. Yeah, dude, that guy is a huge reason why I play guitar like I do, just that that blues sound. But I, like, I have a buddy in Nashville who, like, builds gear and, like, he's, like, trying to meet Jack White and it's oh dude that freaks me out i think i would i might cry if i meet jack white (laughs) (laughs) let alone the ability to like sit down and like see what that guy would want to make with somebody who writes songs like i write yeah yeah he's uh yeah he's fascinating guy very talented uh super talented songwriter guitar player and then of course now like with the third man stuff with the record uh label and the and the vinyl plant and all this i mean like he's just uh yeah it's really cool to see all his his career what he's built for himself and um but yeah yeah that'd be uh that'd be a lot of fun to sit and talk to him and hang out for a while and pick his brain and oh yeah yeah yeah. it's like a modern day like tesla or something <laughs> like you just just a weird like guy but you you like you can really get into some of that philosophy side and it, it comes through I'm a, I'm a huge like deep nerd when it comes to yeah like art theory and like concepts like balance and how they apply to music and what those actually teach people about art you know but i didn't really up uh, fully uh appreciate uh, like <clears throat> like white stripes when it first hit like i remember like fell in love with a girl was on the radio mm-hmm. and i was just kind of like oh, i don't really know about the how long ago was it yeah i mean this is yeah, <laughs> Early yeah this is going way back <laughs> but, <laughs> but i remember like being in school and like freshman, hearing that and i was just year. like i don't know about this it just kind of didn't didn't mm-hmm. hit me but uh i i started listening to this podcast uh the 500 with Josh Adam Myers and he goes through Rolling Stones 500 greatest albums of all time and and uh, so he uh, I think the first one on there was uh, on the countdown was Elephant and uh, listen mm-hmm. to that record um, through as he's talking about it and he's sharing some stories and like I don't know just like kind of getting more into the album cuts compared to like the the radio singles that mm-hmm. were and stuff yeah, it made, made me really like appreciate now and i'm like again it's been 20 years difference now too but i'm like man i, I really like you know a lot of that stuff on there and uh you know it's just uh so i uh, basically saying all that is to you know sometimes it's good to revisit even if you didn't quite like it the first time around, it's fun to revisit records and give it a second chance and be like, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of artists like that. It kind of grew on me after a second run. Like, you know, it's like, Oh, now I understand. Like, you know, maybe even, you know, same thing with movies or TV shows. Sometimes you're just not ready. Sometimes you're not in the right, uh, 
time like of your life and then all of a sudden it, everything will click that the next time around you're like oh man now i see it you know so yeah actually uh the jack white record that's my one of my favorite i i have a, a, it's one of my top favorites we'll say is boarding house reach and the first time i listened to it i was like what is this and then like i gave it another listen and i was like oh my goodness he's talking like directly to artists and like people who make stuff and then like you kind of look into what okay what's behind these songs and the little rabbit holes and just things like that where you're like okay like this is just some weird crazy thing now and it's just now i paid enough attention it, it took me two listens worth of attention <laughs> to really appreciate it you know and uh now i mean i've, I've heard that record a hundred times yeah and it, it every time i hear something new it's crazy yeah <laughs> all right um okay what about uh say the day comes along and uh they're making an action figure for you guys uh what would you guys like to see maybe you're like uh like three three accessories to go with your action figure <sighs> This is one for Ness. Yeah, bro. what's going on? Oh, what's 100%. going on in the Ness section? Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I guess it depends on how tall is the figurine. <laughs> I, okay. I guess that doesn't matter. Because oh what? man, mine be like a. <laughs> nice. uh, my uh, three nice accessories. Uh, I definitely, of course, have a guitar. Um, I have my dog. I'm, I love my dog. Uh, her name is Norma. And then probably my nintendo switch hey, honestly uh, you yeah. know i i game way more than i should but <laughs> it's my vice uh, yeah probably the what, what are you on right now what's the uh, tears of the kingdom yeah i can't get anywhere in that game right now because i work too much but <laughs> right. I'm, I'm enjoying every few seconds that i can spare myself to put in there yeah nice how about you joe you got what do you... Uh, well my guitar would be a good one you got what you got taylor my Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, fishing pole. Here you go. Oh, man. I guess a microphone. Yeah, I was going to say there's a pretty <laughs> shiny microphone yeah. over there. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's a lot of stuff I could be attached to. <laughs> right. Bush beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> That Mississippi River water right there. I don't want to sound like an alcoholic or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> proud, proud sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh man, yeah, we played at this uh, Carver's Naughty Pine, and I was like, yeah, man, I parked my camper out in the fucking parking lot because I'm, I'm, I'm a real, I'm a real good alcoholic. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just planning on staying, guys. <laughs> I'm a responsible alcoholic, man. Yeah. That's what it is. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't sound too bad though. A fishing pole and a, and a cold beer uh, yeah, sitting yeah, by yeah, the river. Yeah. yeah, sounds better so, than a fishing pole and a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Damon, you got uh, what, what, what's going on the the, the Damon right. action figure? Hmm. All right, a guitar for sure. Um, a notebook with a, a something to write with, and. A lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Did you come yeah. with a hat or not? Oh, uh, see, got it. If oh, it doesn't come with the hat, I'm bandit. returning. No, I'm returning. Has yeah. to have a hat. Oh, man. Oh, dude. See, I, I don't have fire. <laughs> mm. That's upsetting. Uh, um, yeah, it, it has to have the hat. Uh, the yeah. hat will I mean, that's a, it doesn't have to be an accessory. You can just glue it. Sure. It's come yeah, it's come yeah with dude, it. it's already attached. You yeah. can't take that. All right. <laughs> Is it a bandana or the big, <laughs> the wide brim? Yep. Yep, the white one. 100%. So you have the lighter stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you the lighter. Yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> Very cool. Well, keep an eye out for those uh, box sets coming soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, going to be a limited issue. Yeah. I don't know. I just think these things are silly to think about and make me laugh. And <laughs> they're good, dude. Um, yeah. All right, one more for you guys. What uh, say we uh, possibility of uh, getting into the Guinness Book of World Records? What What do you think, you guys? Uh, is there anything you think you could get into the Guinness Book of World Records for? 
<laughs> either real or silly. Uh, or what? Anybody? Ooh. Mm. Uh, my car breaking down. Oh, yeah, I, you could put me in there for that. <laughs> Get a picture of my dad next to it, him uh, helping me out fixing the car. Just, Maybe that one. Just disappointed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. I yeah. want it to be for music, but none. Of, you know, uh, like I don't know if I could war- win a world record for. Um. Yeah, recording the most bands out of St. Louis. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, dude. Hmm. Or a, lo- or a local record? I don't yeah. know. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't have no dreams to be the world's best mm, thing. All right. It's um, a lot of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching um, America's Got Talent the other day, and this guy came on. And it's kind of an older guy, and he uh, was in like a karate gi or whatever, and he's he was just uh, going to try to break his own current record for uh smashing uh uh can or uh what's uh, watermelons no it's uh it's a f- why am i brain brain when like, no it's like the hard sh- coconut. uh, coconuts there yeah. it is man <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> breaking the most consecutive coconuts in a row. And he had to like split them in half. Like, uh. And he was going to just do it with his fist. And he, uh, I think he like laid out like 170 of them or something like that. And they're like, you know, monitor and he's going to town. He's, yeah. they hit the, you know, I think he had a minute or something. And, and he starts hammering each one of them. And then they go to count them up. And, he, and they're like, okay. And you successfully broke three of them you know and it was like such a like a, such a huge disappointment like there's like everybody got all hyped up that he's gonna like break you know 170 of them and he got three what's so, the world record 169 something like that or whatever <laughs> I, I don't know my numbers might be off but it was something for, like he wasn't anywhere close just and so like and it was just like I'm just gonna try uh to but it made me laugh like that you know, like, close. yeah but oh. uh i mean still three is pretty impressive like you know breaking coconuts i think yeah. but but uh, anyway, it just made me laugh, like that. There's like literally like a, a world record for like everything. Like, oh yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah nothing. I would ordain it. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, it's a tough one. Uh, yeah, it's hard, man. Uh, man, ah, uh, uh, most most creative hobbies, I guess. <laughs> okay. I really don't know. I don't man. even know what those are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. I, I paint, creative I draw. Can you get? I, I I wanted to tattoo for a little bit. I kind of looked into it. I had a gun for a second, but I didn't want to start on myself, so it kind of stopped. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. well, I uh, really you. I was like, you're starting on me. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, yeah. So I I just like art. Sure. So I get into all that stuff. Photography. Yeah. All film. Yeah, it's awesome. Nice. Uh, well, that's always, uh, good hobbies to have good, uh, especially being, uh, interested in that kind of stuff. I mean, I think I consider all of this, you know, whether you're being creative in any sense with music or podcast or whatever it might be, uh, I would look at us all like uh small business, you know, it's like, we have to be the webmaster for the website and the, right. we have to learn how to market and we have to learn how to make videos and take pictures and do all you know we have to do all the stuff so, so much work so i do uh so hopefully you get to flex some of those creative muscles and uh you know with the with you know re- getting out the cp and and all the future projects making you know maybe some music videos and all the other fun stuff that goes along with it so definitely um i got a good crew to help out too yeah yes, sir it's definitely fun so <laughs> yeah. that's good mm-hmm. so i uh but yeah i appreciate you guys taking some time to hang with me and uh Thank and thanks to joe and uh, biting us over us. us out over yeah. biting us thanks out for here coming to my studio yeah man uh but yeah it's been a very uh fun night i'm glad we made this happen and uh Again, get involved. Uh, keep an eye out uh, for Mom from Joe Robinson, JJR Band, coming soon. Yes, sir. And uh, new EP from Damon, dropping July 1. Yes, sir. And, uh, but, yeah, catch these guys playing around town. And yeah. uh, Live's the way to see it. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys. And uh, I will, uh, I say we do it again soon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime. Right on. Sooner than we waited last, you know, yeah. last time. Hopefully not three more years. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe three or four months, man. Right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Bye, everybody. See you. Ciao. Ciao.